All right, so here's a circle question dealing with concentric circles, which just means circles built around each other with the same center or origin. So it says, of course, in the accompanying diagram, two concentric circles have a radi have radii, or it's you know more than one radius, of nine and five respectively, which means, of course, that this smaller circle has a radius of five. And this larger circle has a radius of 9. So 5 and 9, those are our two radii of these two different circles. And of course, you can see the circles here, rough sketch. Here's the first circle with this origin right here, O. And then here's the second circle, right, this larger circle. And they're concentric again because they have the same origin. So it also has the same center here. Okay, so what do they want to know? Well, in terms of pi, the area of the shaded region is, okay, so we're finding the area of the shaded region, and my basic approach for most of these problems, uh, what I would do first of all, is if you can imagine finding the area of this larger circle, the whole thing, right? That whole area. Now, once you have that area of the larger circle, what would you do to find the area of the shaded region? Well, I would cut out or subtract the area of the smaller circle, right? If you can imagine the area of the larger circle, that whole thing, cut up this middle piece and you have this shaded region, this two-dimensional donut, right? So all we're going to do is take the area of the larger circle and subtract the area of the smaller circle from it. Well, how do we find the area of a circle? Well, the formula for finding the area of a circle, of course, tells us that it takes about pi radius squares to complete the area of a circle, right? So a little bit more than three radius squares. So here, the radius square of the larger circle is 81, right? Because nine times nine, so the area of the larger circle is 81, nine times nine, or radius squared, times pi. And we can leave it in terms of pi, because that's what they want. And we're going to subtract the area of the smaller circle from it. And what's that? Well, that smaller radius of that smaller circle is five. So that radius squared is 5 times 5, or 25. So 25 pi. And now we can always treat this as if it's just 81 minus 25. You can think of if 81 pi is here and 25 pi is there, and you're going to subtract them. And what's that? Well, 81 minus 20 is 61, right? So 61 pi would, would be the answer, but we have to subtract 5 more from that. And what's that? Well, that's just, you can think about, 61 minus 5, which of course is, is what? Well, 61 minus 1 is 60, minus 4 more is 56. So the answer here would be 56 pies, or C, and that's the area of our shaded region. All right, hope that helped.